I'm Billiam, oh, and we are the Digi, Digi Dudes! So we have a ton of awesome vintage Digimon products that I found at a local anime store the other day. So we're super excited to open them, unbox them, find out what they are, because some of them I've never seen before. So let's run an intro and get right into it. Yeah! Alright dudes, so as of recording this, today is Halloween. So Debbie Dude is wearing his Halloween costume. And I'm Debbie Bowser, King of the Koopas. <laughs> Cause pretty much as soon as we're done recording here, it's time to hit the road and start trick-or-treating. And we're really excited about that. So we've actually a really fun day put planned here with Digimon stuff and, and then trick-or-treating. And um my um Pico Debbie Dude is gonna be Batman. Yes, Pico and Debbie Dude picked a Batman costume to wear, so we're they're gonna be really cute. We're really excited. But let's get back on topic of Digimon. Yeah. So I managed to find this beautiful bootleg Digimon minis. So these were coming out a lot in Asia. We didn't really see this in America because we had a whole separate line of products coming out and different things. But these were circulating Japan, China, and different parts of Asia as bootleg Digimon minis. Some of the bootlegs look really funny and crazy, but these ones are actually all the right colors, hey, official. It looks pretty see? legit, this one. Hey, can I see? But the major, hold on, WD, the major factor on it being bootleg is that it's called the Digimon Pendulum. Oh. And then also, you get the Japanese Digimon card there, which I do oh, collect hey. the Digimon, Japanese oh, Digimon my cards. Oh god! Um, but man, everyone he, looks... He looks so cool. Yeah, that is the normal Miramon Mini. These were the yeah, um, cage figures so in Japan. Cool. And then in America, when they were brought to us, they were all just put in different packaging. But these are the cage figures, is oh, what they are. Oh, so cool! And then, on the back here... There is no Bandai product or Toei animation anywhere on the box. This is 100% a bootleg, and I love, I personally love all of the Digimon bootlegs that came out back in the day, now as an adult, because I think they are so funny and, very, and like a unique product. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm not excited about them all, but I also managed to get the Digimon Super Bromado cards. I've never seen these. These ones are official cards that were released in Japan, but never released in America, and they are a large, oversized card, is what it is. So I managed to, was able to score two packs of these, and a Atmon minifigure here, oh, blind box. So let's take a look at both packaging oh, here. who's Atmon? I was waiting for you to say that, Debbie Dude. So, Atmon was another Digimon spin-off show. It's technically not a Digimon show, but it is interconnected with Digimon. So, Atmon were a separate type of digital monster there, and they were called Atmon instead of being called Digimon. But Digimon would still cross over into the show where they had, like, War Greymon show up and things like that. So, there's not a very well-known... Digimon show, and again, technically, it's not Digimon, it's Atmon. So let's take a look at the packaging here on the Super Bromado. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. We have Garurumon, Potamon, Leomon, and then we have the Greymon that Edamon took control of, that Tai Chi's Greymon fought and turned into Skull Greymon up there. We've got Piomon. On the back, we've got Agumon, Debbie Gabumon, Mon! and I was about to say, who's that, Debbie dude? Debbie Mon! Your partner right there. And as you can see here, we do have an official Toei Animation sticker here, because this one is a licensed product. Let's go open it! Then we have the little Atmon blind box here, where we're able to get these six different figures, I believe. I don't really know anything about Which this particular product. Which one are we going to open first? I'm just so excited. Uh, I don't know, Debbie Dude. 
These guys look there. And then I also, just for funsy, picked up one of the new Digimon um, box sets here, where it comes with... What do we come with here? How many packs? That's what I missed here. Honestly, I think it's four packs. Yeah, comes with four packs of cards, promo card for the green memory boost, and then we also have a little Vidramon here, memory counter, which I really like the new artwork here on the green memory boost. And I tend to run a lot of green decks, so that's why I got this one versus some other ones, because there was another one there with the black memory boost with different little uh, memory counter Digimon. I really like Vidramon from when I was a kid running my Wing Guardians Pendulum, and I like running green as a color. You good there, Debbie Dude? Yes. All right. And then I also, I've been on a shopping spree here, picked up this really cool War Greymon sticker from a local artist when we went to like a little, um, uh, I don't know, it was kind of like a flea market type of thing indoors, and he was selling stickers and prints of his work, and I grabbed this War Greymon one because I thought it looked great. So here's everything on the back from the artist there, in case you guys want to check him out on his various social medias and stuff. And he was a nice guy when I chatted with him. So let's throw Greymon, War Greymon on this counter first, and then we'll get into... There's a lot of space here. There is a lot of space there. Debbie. And there I'm... goes Tai Chi. Sorry, I forgot how that <laughs> I really want to get a Tai Chi in the box, just to stop him from falling over, or find a space to take all of them out of their boxes and display them all together out of the box. So let's how... move Tai Chi, and we'll put them right over here by you. And we've got War Greymon now. Looking sick. Um, okay. Wait, what, could we just like buy a Tai Chi box? If we could find one, yeah. Then definitely I would do that and just rebox my Tai Chi. So I think we should go with the minifigures first. What do you think? Mm, yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with the minifigures. This is, again, um, all the vintage stuff 100% sealed. The box is beat up on this one. But it was it's still factory it's tape people, on it. It's stuck. The once people are smart. Okay, the register here. Let's grab this. Remember, if you're a little dude, always have a grown-up handle anything sharp you need to open up the packaging. So let's cut the tape. Like these, you can just rip. Those actually have a little pull uh, yeah. rip, pull spot. Um, a lot of cards do. A lot of cards do. Well, not back in the day, so I was really surprised to see that one did. Oh. All right, we pull off our top plastic here. Let's check out our card, which is taped down. Why? That sucks, because it's not an actual card. It's a sticker. What the? It's not a real card. It's a sticker of the cards. I've seen these before online. I've never personally owned any of them. But it's really cool, and so I guess let's slap another sticker down. I'm going to end up putting this one, I think, over here by me. Because I've got a lot of space right next to me. And we're going to put it right there. I do love the fact that it is a sticker of the trading card. I think that's really awesome. And it kind of looks kind of good. There. And then let's check out Megadramon first. Oh, that's cool! This one looks really good. Like it, like the paint job for it being a bootleg is really nice. These sculpts are official sculpts on them. With these bootlegs, what they did is they um, either somebody in the factory um, stole the molds and then sold them is what happens to this. Or they're going to get rid of the molds and throw them out and they're supposed to be destroyed. But then they're not destroyed and sold off to another company. And then they take the molds and then make their own and then paint them whatever the heck colors they want. But whoever did these ones decided to paint them the correct colors. And they look really nice. They do. Like, for it being a bootleg, I'll get it. It's not as nice as the official Digimon ones. It looks pretty nice to me. Let's check out Leomon next. Again, these are over 20 years old, though. So that's really cool. Leomon looks really cool. Okay. I'm always a fan of Leomon. He's, this dude's ready to fight right here. That is a fighting pose if I've ever seen one, Debbie dude. Yeah. 
And then oh, we I got see. Miramon here. Oh, I love Miramon that Miramon. Looks, this Miramon was really good. I love that one. No extra paint on the back. All the detail was put to the front. But that's all right. It looks really good. I really like um, the Miramon. And then... I like Miramon. We've got Frigimon. Who's seen better days? This guy... Obviously the paint was wet when they started handling this and packaging it. Because it's got tons and tons of spots on there where the paint just started peeling as it was touching things. It's clearly that is what happened here. But it's still cool. I really like these. So, Debbie, dude, the I question... Like the I was about to say, the question is, which one of these five is your favorite? Which one do you like the Miramon. most? Miramon. I'm definitely leaning towards Leomon myself on this one. I think Leomon is a particularly awesome pose. I love Miramon. Mir Miramon... He is awesome. We'll put him somewhere fun, somewhere cool. So now what are we going to do? We're going to move on to the cards or the Atmon blind cards, box. The cards, cards? Cards. We'll do the new stuff last. Because yeah. vintage is what we're here for. We're here for the vintage. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So we're going to use the pull tab on the side. It didn't really pull that well. Maybe I'll, I'll rip the top next time instead of trying that. Because that's normally what I do with these, is like rip across the little perforated spot. Let's see. Okay, so before we actually look at anything in here, I actually have this little picture frame that I have been framing different things here. You can see them around me with. I got one left, and it came in a multi-pack. Whatever card is the coolest card, the shiniest, the rarest looking, the best, We'll frame it and then we'll stick it up here in this blank area because I got a lot of blank room there we need to fill out. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's check out these cards. Let's look at the back of the card first because we've never seen them. Oh, oh my that God. is cool. It has Devamon. I love the back of these cards. Oh my God, this is the best. And then let's flip them. Another, another vintage product, like I said. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that freaking Tokemon! Oh my god! That is so cool! And down here, I guess this is some type of like power meter is what they're supposed to be? To show you their strength? Oh! Oh, and then we got this really cool Palmon. So I don't know if that Tokemon's like a special one. That might be the framed one we go with. But we got a Palmon here. Bakimon! Oh, Chumon! Sukumon is buddy and partner. Numemon, this pack is a god pack in my opinion. I we got Koromon and Tetsumon. All right, so that was pretty cool. I really like the pulls we got there, Digimon wise, and that Tokemon card looks really awesome. It does. So this one we're just gonna try to rip across the top. No, it doesn't want to. So try to go with the pull tab. I'll just see if we can go more. There we go. That was a better rip here okay not giving anything away again all right you ready again, David? Dude? Just love the back of those. so obviously this is digimon adventure themed here anime themed so is there a card in particular you're hoping to find like a digimon you're hoping to find in particular devamon! that's what i'm talking about let's see if we can pull a devamon oh, oh look at that palmon that is sick looking. Kuagumon, Shellmon, Waymon, Kakatorimon, Piximon, Electmon, Gazemon, and that's it. So those are some really awesome cards yeah. with some really awesome Digimon picks. Now the question comes down to you guys. I'll let you guys Pick it in the comments here. I'm trying not to, like, crease the edges on these cards. But they're getting hung up on the stickers. All right, so we're going to leave it up to you guys in the comments on which one is getting framed. Is it going to be Palmon or Togemon? You guys let me know down in the comments there, and then whatever one it is is going to get framed and then put up on the wall there. So now we're going to hop over to the Atmon. we got the little spot there we're supposed to pull. Pop it open. Okay. 
So, Atmon! What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Who do you want, Devi Dude, out of these six on the back there? Who are you hoping for? Uh, I personally like the designs of this guy and that guy. I think he's awesome looking, y'all. I want him. I want him. And then that guy's just really funny and cute. So let's see who we pull. Oh, we got him! We got the one we wanted. And this one's a little finger puppet. So here, let's, uh, oh, I don't have to rip the bag. It's just open in the bottom. There we go. They're little finger puppets. <laughs> I loved these little finger puppet type of toys from Japan when I was a kid. My brothers would get them all the time. We had the Pokemon ones in particular. But this Digimon one looks awesome. Well, Atmon one. I'm not sure on who this guy is because I don't really remember all the names from the Atmon guys. But it's really awesome. Looking. I think we did really good on this shopping trip so far. Yeah. And then now we have the, where did I put my box cutter? There it is, underneath all the packaging. Now we've got the new Digimon box set here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's pop this open. Let's drop that on the floor. Let's take a closer look at the promo card first. The promo card's packaged and really well to protect it. I like that. Promo. Look in sick. I love that holographic they have. And I love like the full artwork like here. Like it's a whole scene. It's not just a picture of a Digimon. You see, was it um Palmon handing out meat here to Coagumon in the back, you guys might not be able to see it that well, but there's a Tyrannomon back there chomping away on his meat too. It's the meat farm. And there's the cart right there, that's awesome. This is I, really sick. That is this that is a very cute card. It's it cute. is. Okay. okay we have this pack. really fun Vidramon memory counter here. Wait, we got that? Yeah, it was in the bottom of the box. Um I saw they also had a Tyranomon one, one with Agumon, and one with Gilmon, but out of them all. Tyranomon, like, it just reminded me of my childhood. I love Tyranomon because of that. I'm not saying Tyranomon, sorry guys. Vidramon. I love Vidramon because of that. Um, but I was really tempted to get the Tyranomon because you guys know me. I run my Tyranomon deck. Um, I'm not no, quite no, sure no. how I feel about him being a memory. I guess he stands pretty well. Um, no, Take it no, back. No. Your right. arm is yummy. So we're going to have a contest here, Debbie Dude. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got four packs. Mixing them up here. Okay. You pick your two, I'm going to pick my two, and whoever pulls the rarest card wins the contest. Yes. Okay, so you pick which two packs you want, and then I'll take the other two. Alright, now we'll go one at a time opening them like we normally do, and we'll find out who pulled the rarest card. Daddy will start. Okay. Got a holographic Tapiermon here. Is all, are they all hollows in this set? I've been out of touch with the Digimon card game lately. I've just been playing casual with Devi Dude and stuff. But it looks like they're all hollows here. This is pretty cool. We got but still, a we Ramon. Like the rarest oh, one. you needed this card for your deck. For your Diablomon deck. Oh. So that's really cool we pulled it. Oh, a holographic hidden power. I'll definitely put this in my green deck. Wait, so the rarest card. A Goonimon. So whoever gets the rarest card. Whoever pulls the rarest card wins the contest. But do they get to keep it? Yeah, we'll talk about it depending on I what the card they is, keep Debbie all Dude. All the other cards. We'll see. We'll see, Debbie Dude. All right, we got here. We're coming down to it. All right. Oh, I got the promo Aerovidramon from the manga, which I actually have this card already. Oh. Okay. And Black Memory Boost, okay, which is a SR. So. Uh, so I pulled a promo and an SR oh so my far. Oh, super rare? Yeah. So let's see if you can top that, Debbie Dude. I'm gonna try, at least. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna win. Who knows? Who knows? I know nothing about what's in this set here. Okay, so pass them over to Daddy so I can do it on camera. Coromon. Coromon. Gabumon. Gabumon. I love the artwork on this card. It's so cool. Blossomon, one of my favorite Digimon. Sukomon. Oh, not Sukomon. Uh, Psychomon. Sorry, guys. 
Toy Agumon. I like Toy Agumon. Oh, one of the Gamma Mons. Uh, Thesis, Thesis Mon? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh, you can pull the Numemon. That's pretty cool. A yellow black Numemon. Guess so. Oh, we got Black Tail Mon uh, Delivery. That's what I believe this one's supposed to be. I don't know what it's. Black Godumon UV? I don't know what the English version is, but. Here we go. We're getting to the rares now. Oh, you got the matching promo Tai Chi to the Vidramon, the manga one I got. So that's Tai Chi from the manga with the D1 Digivice on his wrist there. Because the manga's very first Digivice looked like this. It was called the D1 Digivice. And then what we got in the anime in Digimon Adventure is called the D2. All right. And then you also pulled another green memory boost. So we are even here. You got one promo, Yay! one SR. All yes. right. Yes, yes, yes. Whoever wins. So, last, the last round. Whoever gets the rarest card wins. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now we're moving on to my pack. Holy Flame. Sight. Ah. Codorous Breath. I pronounced that one way wrong. Devamon. Which we could put this holographic version in your deck. I love Devamon. Terrymon. Ooh, I love this card. I'm definitely happy to get a copy of that card. Is this just like all good cards that people like? Is that what this set is? Like ones that are good for people's decks? Because these are all cards I recognize for the most part that people like and want for decks. Like staples for different types of decks. All right. Oh, Mega Dramon with the mini we just got. That's pretty fitting. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got? We got a promo for um, Ruli. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce okay. the name. And then we got an SR Shin Manzemon. Look at that card. Wait, so we're still even? Yup. This looks so good, this card. I love the artwork, the holographic on it. I got one right here, baby. Is this it? Is this it? Devin Dugan gonna beat me out? I don't know why I'm right here. Right here. I have I'm a feeling so that here. you might get promised a promo and an SR in each one of these packs, but we're about to find out. Hey, okay. don't look. Hey, I wasn't. I know. Ready? I was trying to catch you before you accidentally did. Okay, we got a Goonimon, Upamon, Petite Miramon, which again, we could put this one in your deck for the holographic version. Demi Vimon. Salomon, Kaiser Nail, Jellymon, Belt Gammon, Angoramon, Blinding Ray, and then here we go. What do we got? We got Promo Palmon, which I needed more of these, so that's awesome. And we got the Yellow Memory Boost SR. There's no winner. So we tied. There was no winner in this competition here. That's a little anticlimactic. Aww. <laughs> Alright guys, we've had a ton of fun unboxing all this stuff. There's so many cool things for us to play this with now. awesome. Yeah, it was, Debbie dude. We're really happy with this, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so am I. I think we got some really cool pulls. We got some really cool minis to play with and pose around here for you guys to see. We'll post new pics and Can things like that. When we're done. Absolutely we can. We'll post some pics on our Instagram and Discord page and things like that of all the things once we find a permanent home for them. If you guys enjoy what we do here, make sure you giga blast that like button. And touch view the subscribe button down below. It helps us out a ton. Thank you so much to everybody who does. And also special thank you to our Patreon supporters over here. You guys are absolute legends. Without you, the channel would not be able to grow the way it has and to find cool things like this. Thank you so much for helping to support the channel. If you want to help support the channel, go check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description there. You get access to our Discord group. You can get bonus episodes, early access to our videos, input on what we're going to be doing. It's a lot of fun, guys. And as always, from me... My family, to you, have, have a, a digitastic day! day! Grr!